Today I will take you for a trip to the tropical island of Fiji. Fiji is such a small word for such a grand place. If you arrive at Fiji's international airport on the main island at Nandi, where you might spend the night to catch the first flight to Savu Savu on Vanua Island, Fiji's second largest island. A favorite place in Fiji. Fiji is actually quite large when comparing the South Pacific island groups. There are two main islands best suited for living, with hundreds of smaller islands more suited for exotic tourism. Now I will show you the second largest island in Fiji's stunning group is Vanua Levu. We are sitting overlooking the end of the town and straight out to the Grand Savusavu Bay, where often a traveling artist will set up right on the sidewalk to get the scene on their canvas. Cameras just can't capture it, beautiful as the pictures show, for the real thing is beyond a camera's composition. A visual experience is a constant and to some a little overwhelming. If you need to take a break, just close your eyes. The bay is a deep blue with ours hues, where the reefs near the surface and the shores. The mountain formations are tall, and in the layers of green and gray tones as they overlap each other, all the way to infinity. Fiji will provide your daily fix of sensory fulfillment. Just add your favorite music, and you will wonder what took you so long to get to this place on earth, and this sensation in your life. There are two restaurants in this remodeled old copper mill, right on the water, and they will deliver those heavenly meals to the yacht club with a smile, and they all know your name, almost everyone knows each other, including the staff of the various businesses from the markets and the petrol stations. Here Dad is entertaining a regular Saturday group, ever expanding as new members arrive. They call the gathering the Table of Knowledge, which Dad says is just a joke. And the jokes and stories abound with everyone laughing in good spirits. Here Dad put a strong magnet under the table. Well, as you can see, what happens when you do that? Okay, maybe it will. Now what are you going to do? It doesn't do any. Oh. Well, I would just give it to this side. Yeah. shuffle. Uh, yeah, it needs, oh, it needs that little ring. Yeah, it needs the yeah. ring to spin. Oh, that's that's great. Great. And there goes another pile of money. Take it all, take it all. Hello. Hi. Hi. I, I, like, I like being a <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello. You should dress it up like a little yeah. mouse. Can you send me the video? <laughs> Oh god, this is going to go up. Oh, this is going to go up. It's going to be all over Facebook. And... Uh, what are you going to do? I'm, you're hungry, I can tell. He's going to give you some bread. <laughs> okay. And this, the whole time was the secret. Okay. Boing. <laughs> Here we go. The greatest show on earth. Well, on this little piece of earth anyway. This fun little event happened impromptu when this traveling circus group decided to practice at the waterfront for their expo at the capital. The violin player was a big hit. See how well she plays that instrument? I was one of those kids when I was small. The little boats sure look big to a little kid. Life in this little town is as good as it gets.
Speaking of adventure trips, you don't have to go as far as a waterfall experience, and the water is always refreshingly cool. We are regularly asked what kids do here on the islands. Here's what a typical weekend day looks like for local kids. These kids are really good at climbing. They've been climbing these sheer walls since they could swim. I tried it. Oops, and again. Then there was this blue lagoon of Fiji, where you can swim in what may be the island's largest tide pool. And at any tide, white sandy beaches around, and most of them are public, as the waterfront in Fiji is free to the people, and there is so much of it. It is never crowded. Dad said this is the antithesis of Crony Island. I asked him, what does that mean? He explained me the opposite of overcrowded. We don't know what overcrowded is out here. If you are going into the water scene, diving, snorkeling, sailing, fishing, and kayaking, you have found it. There are rivers you can ride the tide through the jungle to a salt lake and back out without even having to paddle, if so inclined or reclined. And it is free. Fiji, in some ways, is like a huge theme park, but there is no charge for what nature has provided us lucky folks of wondrous Fiji. Musical festival held at Korosan Resort and Spa in Sabu Sabu, Fiji. Traditional dancing and it's jazz time. Summertime for Sabu Sabu Fiji Islands. Performers are world famous jazz player and a local band of Fiji. Your mama and daddy stand and say One of these mornings, you're gonna rise up and sing it. Look at that. Native caught octopus reminds me of 20,000 legumes under the sea. <laughs> bats here are a regular sight. Fruit bats, these guys are. They like to chew and poo too. <laughs> Blowholes, boom, swoosh. Careful where you sit around here. Hot springs. This water is really boiling hot. And some of the local people cook corn in here to sell at the market. Free heat. Of course, there are recluses who are quite content to stay out of the mainstream, perhaps tied to home being mesmerized by the extraordinary views of the spectacular island we thrive upon. We don't have to drive untold miles to get about anywhere we want or need. Just taking an all-day adventure trip by the beaches and over through the mountains by waterfalls over rivers and streams and to the other ends of this island is right out of a fantasy movie. Fiji is where you truly get to discover life as it was meant to be. Located where you can watch the sun rise out of one window and watch it set out of the other. While overlooking the Grand Bay throughout the day, the inspiration can get distracting. And then comes the full moon with a silver shadow on the sea gleaming at you can keep you up all night. This is why you see people sleeping all afternoon in hammocks throughout the salt seas. <laughs> 